Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn how to build a fillet washout. Now you'll come across these kind of situations a lot when creating cars in Alias. Uh, you'll have a feature line running across one section and you'll just have a flat surface in the other and you're supposed to blend in the two with this crease blending nicely and merging into the surface. Now, um, so for example, this is a BMW 760E and you'll see that there's a feature line that's uh, disappearing as it turns the corner. There are a lot of areas in automotive sur surfacing that has these kind of feature. So I'm going to show you guys how to build it. Okay, so this is uh, just a primary set of surfaces um, that I built. Uh, I guess that this is actually quite similar to this also, uh, although uh, what I built is more related to a lower fascia than right in the midsection, but still same principle applies. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Okay, first of all, um, here's what I'm going to do right now once the uh, surface is sticking out a little bit more. So I'm going to trim that first. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to intersect this surface with this one. And I'm just going to grab a curve like this. And I'm just going to snap from here to here like that. And now let's go ahead and project. So I'm going to go to a side view. Um, this line really depends on the feature line. Um, but usually you want to make sure that the, all the lines are lining up together. Okay, so uh, I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm also going to go ahead and intersect this one with this one. And let's go ahead and trim this one and this one. Now, when you're doing this kind of build, uh, uh, fill out washout, you just want to make sure that uh, the edges line up. So right now, this is just single surface and there are two surfaces over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to split the, this one over here into two pieces. Now there are several ways to do this. You can use an insert or you can just project a curve. Um, it just depends on what you want to do. Now you can uh, insert, like I just said, so you can just uh, set it to curve and surface like this and you can just snap it right here and you can either divide it like this into two pieces or of course you can project it. Uh, for this one, I think I'm just going to let it uh, dive down a little bit. So I'm just going to, well, I'm just going to use the curve that I just created. So let's go ahead and project it like this. I'm going to get rid of it because it's no longer necessary. And I'm going to grab this one and this one, and I'm going to say divide. Okay, I'm going to just get rid of the surface over here. And I think all the primary surfaces are set. Now, what this is going to help us with is when I put a surface fillet in, it's just going to have uh, allow us to, uh, allow me to create a very nice edge uh, transition from here to here. So I'm just going to uh, use a surface fillet to start with. So I'm going to set it to cord. It's going to be G2. And because it's a rear, uh, rear fascia and it's a little bit larger, I'm going to give it a little bit of lead in. So let's uh, set it to quarter length. And for the quarter length, uh, the le actual length itself, let's set it to maybe 200 and let's see how that looks. Okay. So I think 200 is not bad. If you look at a picture like this, for example, I think that's a pretty good size. Now, depending on the car and the design, uh, you probably want this to be a little bit bigger, but for our purposes, purposes, I think 200 is pretty good. So I'm going to just set this to edge align and I'm going to set this to edge align as well. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, nice and smooth transition. However, I think uh, I don't like the span in the middle. So let's see if I can use either Bezier. Yep, that got rid of it. So pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and do the transition over here. So let's go ahead and grab a curve. Actually, I'm going to, because of there's a little bit of curvature here, I'm going to grab a fit curve like this, and it's going to be degree two. Let's go ahead and delete the construction history. I'm going to snap it over here. And I'm going to just copy and paste, and I'm going to snap on this side. Okay, and I'm just going to scale this so that it's a little bit bigger, and let's go ahead and project. Now for projecting this, uh, because it is actually uh, very close to the surface, I don't think you really need to make sure that it's um, 
projecting, uh, being projected from a particular angle. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the curves over here. And I'm going to go ahead and trim. Okay, I'm going to say keep instead. I'm going to trim this one over here as well. This curve, I'm actually going to hide it for a second. And now let's go ahead and fill this in. Now there are a couple of ways to do this. You can use a square, but you need a fourth edge uh, like this. You can just use a plane curve. And because there is a little bit of lead in, you probably want to make sure that the CV structure of this one is similar to this one. So I can just grab the edit tool and I'll try to make it a little bit similar. So maybe something like this. I think that should be pretty good. Now, another way I like to do it is I'm, uh, sometimes I just like to just duplicate this side and I can just snap it over here so that the CV structure is the same. Or um, I, I think the best way is probably just using a by rail. Now, this really depends on the shape and how extreme it is. But for this one, I think this is going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick this one as a gen and I'm going to pick these two as a rail. Looks like it didn't build, uh, looks like rebuild is in order. So I'm just going to click here. Yep, that built it. You'll see that the surface is actually sticking out a little bit. So what you need to do is just grab an align and you want to make sure that's set to G2. I'm going to just align this one over here. And for this one, I'm going to set this to edge like that. And that just makes sure uh, ensures that this uh, uh, set of CVs are following this edge over here. And I'm going to do the same thing over here like this. I'm going to set it to edge and now you will see that the CV structure is a very even and it's a following this one nicely. Okay, so let's just check the highlight. You will see that this is washing out nicely and just blending nicely into this feature over here. And I think that looks pretty good. Now in order to finish this off, because of this, uh, these surfaces were uh, just one piece to begin with, what I'm going to do is first of all, delete the construction history like this. I'm going to actually delete this one. And I'm going to go ahead and untrim this one over here. Get rid of this curve and surface here because I don't need it anymore. And I'm just going to project this one right here. Okay, and let's go ahead and trim and that. And there it is. That's a very nice blend from the feature line over here into the corner into just a one single surface. Now, if you really want to finish it, uh, you can always put a fillet here. So let's go ahead and do that too. So I'm just going to, let's see, I'm just going to grab a curve like this and I'm just going to trim these two over here like that. And let's go ahead and trim. That's good. And let's grab a small fillet. Now, usually these uh, fillets are really small, so I, I'm not going to make it any bigger. So let's say uh, it's going to be core, it's going to be G2 for the core length. I think I'm going to maybe just do 10. And for these small fillets, I'm just going to do a form factor of one. I'm going to grab this one over here and I'm going to grab this one over here like this. And let's see how that does. Okay, so right now Bezier surface option is set to on. So I'm going to just turn that off and see if that will make it. Looks like it didn't. So let's try it again. Oh, looks like it's actually not working. So let's just do one by one like that. So it's as set to edge align on both sides. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, so while this is great, it's not perfect. As you can see, it's a little bit mismatch over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this over here like that. I'm going to just copy here and I'm going to snap it here and I'm going to snap the top one like this. And right now it's pretty close over here. So I'm just going to extend it like that. I'm going to extend this one like that. And I might just use a stretch tool to snap this in place. So let's see. Okay, so I think that's good. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. So now let's go ahead and project over here and here. Now I'm not going to delete the curves yet. And actually, uh, I think, well, I think that projection from the side is okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and trim over here. Let's see, trim over here, trim over here. And we do need a fourth edge, so I'm just going to go ahead and use a blend curve. I'm going to snap here, and I'm going to snap this one over here. And I'm just going to ensure, using edit, 
then it is pointing in the right direction. Let's see, I'm going to grab this one too, like that. And let's go ahead and use uh, make a square. Now you can use the trim edge, but um, well, let's see how it does. So I'm just going to grab the trim edge like this and you'll see that there are multiple spans. So I'm going to try rebuild on first. That's still five spans. I'm going to say curvature over here, curvature over here, turn explicit control on. I'm going to just do degree five. Okay, so while it's not bad, but still failing curvature, and I'm pretty sure there's a positional continuity problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of that. And instead of doing that, I'm just going to, oh, well, first of all, let's actually turn all of these off. I'm going to use the curve itself. So I'm going to say one, two, three, and four, like that. Okay, so the CV, uh, it's following the CV structure nicely. And now let's go ahead and delete the curves like this. And I'm going to just align. Okay, so when I'm aligning this, what I like to do is usually just uh, use project align. So I'm going to just see if it aligns. Okay, actually for this one, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to say untrim over here. I'm going to untrim the bottom one. I'm going to delete the COS on both sides. I'm going to just project view and that's curvature there and that's curvature here okay so let's go ahead and trim this one and this one and i'm just going to check the continuity here to make sure that it's good so let me just delete the construction history like this and i'm going to check the continuity here well that's curvature so that's perfect and right now you'll see that this is not fitting to the fillet that i just created so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to untrim get rid of the COS on both sides. And I'm just going to go ahead and project right there. Okay, and let's go ahead and trim. And again, I'm just going to check the continuity. And that's curvature there too. So that's perfect. And let's just check the highlight. So that looks pretty nice. So we have a feature line going through. And as it goes towards the side, it just blends nicely in there. And that looks perfect. Okay, so that is how to build a fillet washout. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.